now we will do some questions of NPSC prelims 2015 quantitative aptitude so now I've already copied four questions from this 2015 question paper for those who need reference on the question paper kindly go to the official website of NPSC you will find all the question papers being uploaded there so you can download it from the website if you need the questions on hand so from the team of T Snagalin let's try to solve some questions today question number 98 that is the angle between two radii of a circle is 123 degree so if we assume 123 so approximately let's draw it like this so the angle between two radii suppose O A and B so if these are the two radius O A and O B then the angle between them is angle A O B so angle A O B is given as 123 degree then the angle between the tangents at the end of the radii angle between the tangents so if you draw a tangent at this point and if you draw another tangent at this point now I believe all of us we know what is a tangent a tangent is a straight line that passes through a circle a straight line for example like this a tangent is a straight line any line okay kushikta line day any line only be condition though it will touch at only one point collect the point this circle the touch kuru na like this there can be many only with the condition is that it will touch at only one it should touch at only one point on the circumference of the circle and then from that point we call it point of contact Now from that point of contact if we join to the center of the circle it is also the radius now one theorem is that in class 10 you will find this theorem the angle made by the tangent at the point of contact along with the radius is always 90 degree Therefore, this will be 90 this will also be 90 so the question is find out the angle between the tangent either tangent to do the line now this one and this line so these are the two tangents at the two radii at the end points con of contact so this will be the angle that we will have to find out so, so again the concept it's about your concept so that's why again i repeat please go through if you're preparing for npsc when you get when you have sufficient time please go through the class 7 8 9 10 textbooks that will mathematics textbook at least the basic stuff it will really help you solve better problems better so then like i'll just write angle a will be 90 degree angle b is also 90 degree we have a short form to write like tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact Tarmane now A O B C 1 2 3 4 is a quadrilateral so we know that the sum of the angle in a quadrilateral is how much 360 degrees so that means angle A plus angle a o b plus angle b plus angle between the tangents angle a c b should be 360 this is 90 this is 123 this is again 90 angle a c b 360 degree so angle a c b that is the angle between the tangent will be 360 minus so 90 plus 90 180 So 180 plus 123 that will be 303 so 303 minus 360 our answer will be 57 degrees so option number B option number B would be our correct answer next up if we move on to the next question quickly that is 93 that states If Tn denotes the nth term of the arithmetic progression with the 50th, when you subtract the 50th and the 20th term, 
we get the difference as 15 find the common difference so this will again come from so that will be question number 93 so the nth term tn represents the general term so general term of an ap is a plus n minus 1 into d represents common difference so for us given that when you subtract the difference of the 50th term and the 20th term that's given here 50th term and the 20th term it is the difference is 15 so difference between Fiftieth and the twentieth term. So fiftieth term will be like a plus fifty minus one into d minus a plus twenty minus one into d. If we use this concept equal to fifteen, let's quickly solve a plus forty nine d minus a plus nineteen d equal to fifteen. A plus forty nine d minus a minus nineteen d equal to 15 plus a minus a 49 minus 19 d 15 d equal to 15 by 30 so the answer will be option number d that is the common difference is 1 by 2 so let me finish this let's finish these two questions so question number 148 if 2652 is the product of two consecutive positive integers then the sum of those integers so let the positive no let the integers be x and x plus one because it is mentioned consecutive no consecutive consecutive means if one is five the other will be six if it is nine next will be ten if it is hundred next will be hundred and one so consecutive means the next immediate numbers now given that the product of two consecutive the product of two consecutive integers so product of the two consecutive integers is 2652 so x square plus x minus 2652 equal to 0 so we will do this by the process of splitting the middle term in the previous in some of the videos in class of class 9 and 10 i have done this process so you can kindly go through it let's factorize three two two one thirteen seventeen so seventeen into three fifty one thirteen two twenty six twenty six two the fifty two so fifty two into fifty one two six five two fifty two minus fifty one one that's our middle term so 52x minus 51x taking x common from the first two terms 51 common from the last two terms so our values of x are 1 will be minus 52 and the other will be plus 51 so since it is stating in the question that positive so we will not be using this 52 so one number is 51 the other number will be x plus 1 that is 51 plus 1 that's going to be 52 so now the question is sum of those integers so our integers are 51 and 52 so if we add those 51 and 52 it's going to be 103 that is option number d will be our answer that is 10 Three. Moving on to the next question, question number 168. Question number 168. And the question states the number of x's, x is what uh, numbers which between 40 and 400 which are divisible by 7. So numbers between, so x is a number divisible by 7 and x is lying between 40 and 
400 so like let's try to find out the sequence 40 is not divisible by 400 so 40 or 400 module the first number to 42 hobo divisible by 7 42 next to 49 so to the equal to then if we move on last number to kiman over till 400 so for that you can do one shortcut that is quickly divide 400 by 7 so 7 fives are 35 five zero seven sevens are 49 one left remainder that means 57 into 7 to Korea 7 7 49 4 left some 35 39 so the last number is 399 so this will follow an arithmetic progression where first term is 42 common difference 49 minus 42 no 7 and last term which is the nth term is 399 so nth term as we know for an arithmetic progression is given by a plus nth term given by a plus n minus 1 into d a we know 42 n we have to find out n represents the number of terms common difference 7 399 so 7n minus 7 399 minus 42 7n equal to 399 minus 42 to 39942 753 357 or minus 7 to no plus 7 n will be 14 1 left 6 3 divided by 7 that will be 7 1 7 7 5 35 14 2 52 so that means that there will be 52 that is option number b 52 numbers between 40 and 400 which will be divisible by 7 so our answer is this thank you i hope you've liked this